written by Coral Bass, illustrated by Dub Leffler, and published by the National Library of Australia. We respect and honour Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander elders past, present and future. We acknowledge the stories, traditions and living cultures of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples on this land and commit to building a brighter future together. There was a hum of excitement. Flags flickered in the breeze as Maggie's heart danced with delight. This is a very special day, her mother said. Long ago, and not so long ago, the women sat around the hissing fire. The smell of breakfast flooded the camp as flies circled above. Running in the morning sun, the children kicked up dust. Maggie twirled around her mother's legs, in and out, playing hide and seek. The crowd hushed. Every eye was locked on the giant screen as a man began to speak. Maggie's mother leaned down. Shh, listen. Racing each other to the creek, the children giggled. Coming, ready or not. Then a terrifying holler came from the camp. Hush, children, they're coming. Hide, hide. Maggie buried herself deep into her mother's skirt. No one stirred. The children scattered, hiding in the thick mud. They lay silent, still. Thud. Maggie slipped, losing grip of her mother's hand. She found herself trapped in a sea of legs. A truck rumbled along the bank like thunder. Out stepped four heavy boots. Thud, 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 thud. White men! The children trembled. Maggie crawled frantically to find her mother. Hot tears ran down her cheeks. The children were found. Screams echoed across the land as they scrambled to escape, sliding in the mud with every step. A tender hand touched Maggie's shoulder. Mummy, she gasped. I thought you were gone. The land wailed as the children were herded, one by one, onto the back of the truck. Then it sped off, leaving behind only billowing dust. Long ago, and not so long ago, the children were taken away. We say sorry, said the man. Maggie's mother wiped her tears. To the mothers and the fathers, the brothers and the sisters, we say sorry. Maggie listened. Her mother kissed her softly. Sorry. The word echoed around. Every hand squeezed a little tighter. As Prime Minister of Australia, I am sorry. The crowd roared with applause. And in that moment, there was hope.